I don't know what else to say. I don't care. Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday morning and another beautiful day. A little windy, but not too bad. This is Cruise Man, as if you didn't know that already. And I'm getting ready to head over to a friend's coffee shop. Actually, it's his uh, in-law's coffee shop. And we're going to meet up and talk about a video project that he wants me to do for his new business. Something I've never done before. But uh, every day in Cruise Man's Garage, I'm doing something I've never done before, so that's nothing new for me. Pretty nice day today. It's about maybe 80 degrees, a little breezy, kind of partly cloudy skies. We were supposed to get some rain last night, but we never did. I appreciate you joining me today for a motor vlog and if this is your first time, welcome. We always ask you to click that little subscribe button down below so that you find out about our upcoming videos and we've got a bunch of them coming up. Well, what we try to do on this channel is uh, talk about motorcycling and I sometimes I get off on tangents and I'm going to get off on a tangent today. And I just want to give you a fair warning right up front because there's going to be a rant coming. So for those of you who are easily offended or triggered, you might want to just turn the video off right now. But before I get into that, and I will give you another warning before I get into it, I want to just update you on some of the stuff going on around Cruise Man's Garage. We still have the Bon Body Armor giveaway. Uh, that's uh, you can register for that. Doesn't cost anything to register. You can register on our website. I'll put the link on the screen and in the description down below. We're giving away a free Bond Body Armor shirt. It's about 160 to 180 dollar value, depending on which one you choose. You get to select the size, the style, and the color. I had somebody email me last week and ask me if the offer is good for those in Canada. And yes, it is. U.S. and Canada only. I should have mentioned that in my first video where I announced this, but I, f I failed to. It doesn't cost anything to enter. And we're going to have a random drawing on July 5th. So you have to register by midnight on July 4th. Okay. Father's Day promotion has ended. It ended on Wednesday night. And I want to thank all of you who participated and purchased those uh, maintenance videos. You know, my maintenance videos dramatically support this channel. So without the uh, Goldwing owners out there purchasing my maintenance videos, there's no way I'd be able to do this YouTube channel. So uh, I appreciate your support. Also, big news item, this week we exceeded 24,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Very exciting. We're heading for 25,000. And uh, again, I want to thank all of you that support the channel. Now, here's the warning because the rant is coming. Am I the only one? Now, am I the only one that, when I watch these politicians on television, and I've been watching a lot of them lately, I keep asking myself, how come they have this sign language person in the corner doing the signing? And every time you see a politician speak on something, whether it's COVID-19 or rioting or whatever the hell it is, they always have this guy in the corner or on the stage with them signing. You don't see that in any other situation other than politicians talking. 
you don't see it on the evening news. You don't see it on television shows. Now my question to you is, am I the only one that thinks those who are deaf, am I the only one that thinks those people who are deaf, can, all, can they can read? Do we not have closed captioning? Can we not put up? These guys are, these politicians are all reading from a script anyway. It's not like they're up there extemporaneously speaking. Why can't they just scroll the words they're saying on the screen? I don't, I guess I just don't get it. So if you wonder that same thing, put it in the comments down below because I just don't get it. Now, I have been lately trying to avoid talking about politics and the news of the day as much as possible for a couple of reasons. Number one, every time I say anything about anything, 10 of you come on and say you're going to unsubscribe because of it. The main reason is I don't want to get my YouTube channel pulled. I can't really talk about things that I would like to talk about without running the risk of losing the monetization on my YouTube channel. So I just avoid talking about it. But I would like to say something. You know me, I can't keep my mouth shut. Am I the only one that thinks some of the measures these politicians are taking on this COVID-19 response is absolutely insane. For example, we've seen the number of cases rise over the last couple of weeks here in Texas and in other parts of the country. Now, I'll ignore the fact for the moment that not one person in the media said a word about the spread of COVID-19 during all these big riots. I'll, I'll, I'm just going to not talk about that. Now COVID-19 is in the news again. And the number of cases have spiked. But in general, the way they are dealing with this makes no sense to me. Am I the only one that wonders why Walmart and other businesses have decided that now that the spread of a pandemic is possible, we're going to close all the entrances to our place of business and we're going to force everybody to get as close as possible to each other and go through one entrance and one exit. Whereas before, we could have all gone through a different entrance. Am I the only one that sees that as being kind of stupid? And at our local post office that I went to the other day, they've closed off they have two sets of entrances and they've completely locked one of the entrances. And there's a sign saying you have to use the other entrance. They want to funnel everybody. And now there's a line of people lining up to get into the post office. Some staying six feet apart, some not staying six feet apart, some wearing masks, some not wearing masks. But if they just opened up the second entrance, a lot of people that just want to go in and get the mail out of their P.O. box, there's no reason for them to stand in line. It's not like they're going to go to the counter. Doesn't make any sense to me. And what about the fire marshal? What about the fire laws? Can you just lock down all these entrances and exits with no consequences? So I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. I guess I must be the only one. You guys tell me. And then there's the subject, oh, oh, and this is a great one. Here in Texas, they just ordered that the restaurants can now only be 50% full. They were up to 75%, now they're going back to 50%. Not that any restaurant I've been to lately is more than 20% full, but that doesn't matter, that's another point. And then, just yesterday, American Airlines announced they're going to start selling flights at capacity. How come they can order restaurants to have half their seating empty, but nobody can order the airlines to do this? The most the filthiest place you can be on earth is inside of a, basically a flying mailing tube with 250 or 300 other people. 
I can't think of the air is recycled. It's the perfect place to spread a disease. And yet nobody can order where the hell's the FAA? They can't order them to leave the center seats empty on all flights, but restaurants have to cut their seating. I guess I just don't get it. Am I the only one that thinks this is strange? Put your comments down below. I want to know if I'm insane or if I'm the only one that thinks it's crazy. Because I think the most dangerous thing you could do right now, if you're concerned about getting the virus, would be to fly on a full airplane where you're sitting literally three inches from the other person's mouth. And also, the airlines announced, several of them announced, they're no longer going to serve alcoholic beverages on the flights. You can't have a drink. Hell, that was the reason to fly. So you could have a drink. Because they said they are concerned about their crew members spreading the virus by serving these drinks. But yet they're going to keep serving soft drinks and water and orange juice. Is the virus that smart where it knows that an alcoholic beverage is being served and it only infects you if you order an alcoholic beverage? Also, I personally believe that alcohol would help kill the virus. Just my personal belief. I know. So I am really curious to know what you guys think of all my rant for the day. Oh, I've got some more stupid people stuff coming up. Because I think, you know... I, I, I'm going to have to do another video because I had a situation happen the other day that I can't wait to tell you about. So anyway, if I offended you with my comments, I don't know what else to say. I don't care. If you're that easily offended by something I say, you got a problem. You can always unsubscribe. I love it when people put a comment in one of my videos say, I completely disagree with what you just said, so I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm never watching another one of your videos. That's okay. But why would you take the time to post the comment? Why not just unsubscribe? I, un I unsubscribe to channels all the time. I don't take the time to write a comment to tell them why I'm unsubscribing. I just unsubscribe. Why do you think I care why you unsubscribe? I look forward to hearing your comments. Put them in down below. Don't forget to register for the Bond Body Armor giveaway. And thanks again for joining me on Cruise Man's Motovlogs. I'll tell you more about this video project that I'm working on in my next Motovlog. Thanks again for joining me today. Y'all have a great day. Ride safe. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.